So I just watched the season six premiere of Arrow. At the end of season five, they're out on the island. Oliver's on a boat. All of his buddies are on the island and the island explodes. And we're left with a cliffhanger wondering who made it, who survived, what are the consequences? This episode picks up five months later, and right from the get-go, we start to see certain people are okay, they're fine, and the big mystery is who did die, and who's injured, and how bad are certain things. Now, the specific plot of the episode is fairly standard Arrow. Bad guy shows up, escapes from prison, and goes after Team Arrow. Fairly standard for the show, but the episode exists more to kind of play a little bit of catch-up and set up for the season, and I think... In doing so, it was a pretty good season opener. Wasn't the best season opener, but it was a very solid season over that has set things up really nicely and made me go, all right, I'm, I like where things are going. Nothing annoyed me, and that's a big thing for this show. If you've been following my reviews in the past, I've almost quit watching this show several times and enough things have brought me back at different times and this season over made, uh, season opener made me go, yeah, I'm pretty excited for where this season is headed. But before I give my full thoughts, be sure to put your thoughts down below in the comments section. Your thoughts kind of, did you like season five? Is this a nice continuation of that? Is it a return to form? Where are you coming from? What did you think of the episode? Tell me down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, just know I'm aiming to review each of the episode and kind of discuss of Arrow this season so check back every friday so click that subscribe button so you're you know notified of when it happens all right let's start talking about it so for this episode they kind of replaced the flashbacks from all the previous seasons with well i guess with flashbacks but flashbacks to where this previous season ended kind of playing a little bit of catch up and i don't know if they're going to continue doing that i mean i wouldn't think they're going to continue doing that but I, I don't know what their thought is for the flashbacks this season so we get to see kind of little glimpses of it and give us some nice little insight and into why certain things happen, where things kind of went. It was a, is a clever way to be able to finish that plot line and see where that played out, while at the same time not feeling like we had to pick up right there with the main storyline of this episode. So I thought that worked out pretty nicely, at least for the opener, where they're, they're headed. And then from there, the big kind of thing that's the twist for the, or I guess we had two big twists for the season in this one. The first one is that Oliver's now William's dad. He knows and he's the kid in the house and it didn't really give us a hint of how that's going to change the dynamic of the show too much other than he's now got a kid at home, but that's a significant dynamic. Anyway, and that's kind of one of those plot threads they just kind of hinted at years ago and they've been slowly kind of trickling out to now it's a major plot point. The other big twist reveal in this one, once again, the public has been told that Oliver is the Green Arrow. Now this should be kind of this, we're turning everything upside down. Oh wow, the public knows who he is. Except, I mean, they've been doing this plot point since, what is it, episode three or four? The first time he got arrested for being the vigilante. So they've done it before. This, it's because they put it at the end of season one, it feels like this is actually going to be the time it does go public. It is official and people know and it'll pl actually play out this time. But since they've played it out before, since they've done things like this before... Uh, I'm skeptical of how far down this path they're going to go. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, along the same lines, other kind of familiar plot beats that we've seen a little bit before. Uh, Lance struggling with alcohol. Are we going to keep going? <laughs> At a certain point in time, I get a little bit frustrated when it feels like they just kind of keep hitting the same one a few too many times. Um, they didn't go too far down it like they've done before where he's just wrecking everything, but they're, they're hitting that beat a little bit. Other things I liked about it that um, we killed people off. Uh, I think we only do. We only have one actual casualty that set up the William Oliver dynamic. So they killed off minor character, but you got Thea in a coma. You've got Diggle losing his edge and he's injured. You got other people injured. So there's actual consequences. So I always love it when the show does that. More so if people stay dead, when people keep dying and actually not dying, that gets frustrating. So hopefully people stay dead in, in the case of killing off a minor character, she's going to stay dead. So kind of appreciate that. And Diggle being injured, losing his edge. Hopefully that really plays out and it, it's an actual shift in the show. I, I just hate it when these shows flashes much kind of, well, Arrow, 
Arrow has the bad habit of killing people, but surprise, they're only kind of dead, or surprise, alternate universe version of them. They've been doing a lot of that stuff, or surprise, Lazarus Pit. Now, the one that uh, Flash did is what they keep doing is big time. Everything's changing with the cliffhanger, and then they resolve it in the first episode. What I'm appreciating about Arrow is that whatever happens in that finale has actual consequences that kind of play out. I just like it's so frustrating when you do a big, gigantic cliffhanger and then it's just one episode and it's resolved. It's like it, it needs to have consequences. So the mother dying, living William living with Oliver, that's a big shift. I That stuff matters. Diggle hopefully actually loses his edge and hopefully them finding out that Oliver is the Green Arrow will actually last this time and not just kind of trickle away and he finds excuses and hopefully it really plays out this time. Anyway, that's my take on it. How about you? Tell me down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and your speculation on where they're heading with the big bad this season. And if you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos. But the key thing is I don't want to just talk about movies and TV. I want to talk about movies and TV with you. So join me in the comments section. Let's have a lively discussion and thank you for watching.